Well, two days of high-level tournament play here at Toy York Game in Bugis Plus, and it all comes down to this. The final of the Singapore Mid-Season Showdown played between Chayawat Chawicha, a and visitor from Thailand, and Ang Weiwen from Singapore. It will be a, essentially a Thailand versus Singapore showdown. Yes, Weiwen hoping to continue his momentum coming into this tournament, top of the Apex standings, yes. and off of a win from the previous Mid-Season Showdown held in Kuala Lumpur, I believe. Yes. I mean, with, with this win, in fact, he will be able to max out his best finish limit for the Mid-Season Showdown this season. So definitely, it will be something... Uh, winning it will be icing on the cake, definitely. And I'm sure that he will want to showcase the best uh, against the best in Thailand, I would say. Def whoa, whoa, don't let Jira hear that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay, uh, Jira, Jira, you're One Jira. of the best in Thailand. Jira, Jira you're US now. <laughs> one of the best in Thailand, I correct myself. Yeah, uh, I'm sure that both of them, both of them brought very, uh, well, similarly standard yeah, teams. Sim very solid, very solid team calls. Balanced teams, uh, and it will really come down to the plays made by both players. Yeah, I think the biggest difference between both players is that I think Weiwen has shown he's a lot more reliant on Tailwind in the many bus. Whereas Chai is Chai is less reliant on things like that. Chai is more on positioning himself. He's he brings it to Kamado at the right moments to get the crucial fake out, to lock things with on call, and set up Snorlax sometimes when opponent his opponent doesn't expect it to set up. Sure. And also be uh surprises like substitute Garchomp in order to lengthen uh, the improved bow the overall bow of the team. Uh, yeah, and if you can, if, and Gashon gets a sub up, that means if Akhanai comes in later, no Intimidate. Yes, definitely. So, and that uh, that also helps to uh, improve his, what you mentioned, the positioning uh, to check his opponent uh, when they least expect that. Yeah. And yeah, and both players, I think, had a pretty dominant run on the way to top card. Sure. Uh, in fact, uh, looking at, for example, the semi-finals against Yoko, uh, he, from seemingly an uh, un... I would say, from a seemingly not so favorable matchup, he, he capitalized on the weakness of Yoko's team, which was Tailwind, and he, he, he took it at, at the very end, and he managed to edge out the win convincingly as well. Yeah, on the other hand though, Chai already knew what the answer was. The answer was in his finish all along. However, Wang kind of tripped him up along the way, and but Chai right there himself, found the answers, and he is here in the final. Sure. But it's, it's a very different matchup uh, higher against Weiwen than yeah. it was. It's, I think against Wang, it's fair to, to characterize the matchup as problem solving. Here, on the other hand, it's a very active game of two players trying to edge each other out. Yep. Very, very different team, uh, very similar in the way they build the teams, but very different end, end results. So they have very different end goals. Weiwen wants to get Tailwind up and start pressuring Chai with offense. Chai wants to stall Weiwen for as long as possible. Sure, and in fact, to like maneuver around the board so that they can uh, end in a position whereby Weiwen will not be, will be stuck and not be able to, uh, you know, dish out important damage, for example, or even like put in a check mid position for against Chai. That 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 is something that probably both of them have to like what you mentioned, active board management. Uh, Again, has to be played. from the semi-finals, Weiwen's team is the Tapu Lele, Katana, Mandibas, Arcanine, Gigalith, and Tapu Koko. Whereas for Chai, no surprises there, Gachov, Celestila, Tobegede Maru, Snorlax, uh, Arcanine, and Tapu Fini. And here we go into the first game of the final here in Singapore, our mid-season showdown. Second mid-season showdown of the season. First held here at the Toy of Game flagship store in Boogies Plus, and it will be the least for Weiwen. It's going to be Mandibas Tapu Koko. Uh, Weiwen hoping to get Tailwind up as he served him so well in the semi-finals. Yep. And the and the uh, Gachom Arcanine lead typical uh, very characteristic of Chai. He has led this uh, combination many many multiple times. Yeah, uh, lead that Chai time. is definitely very comfortable with. It covers a lot of things and gets the intimidate off. Unfortunately, not going to do much against these two particular leads. Yes. Uh, in fact, I don't see anything that's stopping Mandibas from setting up a, what they call that, the, the Tailwind. Uh, you know, potential, I, I'm not sure what's the Coco item. Both switching for repositioning option could be in play. Uh, a protect. I mean, I, do, I doubt that the Coco will be able to survive a Gachom Earthquake. Akhanai going for the helping hand immediately. Is Whoa. This and look at the whoop. Look at the whoop from Weiwen. Let's see. It's going to be the Twinkle Weiwen Tackle, see. it looks like. It's going to be Twinkle Tackle from Tabu Coco. And Gachom is going to go down in a single hit, barring some rather... Amazing uh, defensive investment. Wow. I, so I mean, Chai are going all in on the Gachong, which might just go down without taking any sort of damage on the field. Yes, and Chai shaking his head. He, I felt that he really caught it wrong. He was definitely caught off guard by the Twinkle Tackle. Uh, it's an overrated item. I, I will say underrated item. Yeah, I say yeah. overrated. And I oh. fully believe it's overrated. <laughs> but Weaver makes, Weaver makes it work. I believe the double calls that with Ferium kind of limit the rest of the damage output, especially if the electric attacks. But sure, definitely sure. work for Weaven there. Sure, sure. It yes. is it's for sure. The one way Coco has to get rid of Gashom immediately. Yes, yes, definitely. And it definitely caught Chai off guard. Yeah. 
very, very off guard. And they win this up, Celestila facing down a Tapu Koko, not really very favorable, I would say. I think it's fair to say that Chai is trying to beat him and switch to Gamarian right now. Uh, yeah, that, that, that is also a possible play. So what there's can nothing Raven can really do unless, but other than you know, getting some chip on the Togedemaru, foul play still has Togedemaru. It we, should be pointed out. However, which slot he was switching to Togedemaru, you know, that's the... Yeah, that's the question that we yeah, have to ask ourselves. So the temptation is of course to go into the Arcane line. Oh. But he actually just goes for Volt Switch. Oh, very ballsy play that, from Wayward. That was very... Uh, the critical hit, which I, I guess it mattered because uh, typical Arcanines uh, for each yeah. berry variants. Uh, Chai grants yes. a very bulky Arcanine with the yes. berry. Yes. But uh, Wayward just going for Volt Switch without fearing Tokyo Demaru at all. Wow. I guess they intimidate on the opposing Arcanine and yes. Celestia. Perhaps finish, perhaps hoping to finish off with a foul play, but with the intimidate also hindering the foul play damage. Uh, well, as foul play into the Arcanine slot. It so will definitely proc the berry, I would say. Yeah, even after, especially after the intimidate, it yes. Arcanine was 5, it is berry. Sure. But probably he didn't expect the critical hit anyway. So yes. Yeah. But it's still good, still procking the and berry. Arcanine will go for a flare blitz into the Coco slot, most likely. Yep. Yep, so Arcanine will take that very comfortably. We weren't just calling the bluff. No worries about Tokenomaru coming in, just going for vote switch. Yes. Uh, and the heavy slam, probably lightly going onto the bandy bus. Oh no, onto the... Doubling into the Coco, wanting to get rid of Coco immediately, which yeah. is interesting, given that Coco already burned his Z item. Z uh. move, and wasn't as threatening. But, well, we Chai recognizing that Coco, Coco might switch out, fearing the Tokenomaru, sure. and doubling into that slot. Sure, sure. But, but the... Akanai wasn't really what he was hoping to yep. see. Oh, he goes for the flabbies. Directly onto the Celestila, not being intimidated. Oh, but it still survives! Oh, hang on there, even without the Intimidate on the Arcanine. As foul play, doubling into the Celestia perhaps? Probably double, doubling onto the Celestia. And Celestia will go down. Yep. Having a more than decent attack stat to pair with high defenses, unfortunately. With that amount of HP left, foul play will be enough. As Chai continues to flare this at this point, I think he's just trying to fish around for an answer. Sure. Uh, but the thing is, I mean, looking at the deep, uh, it, what do you call it, the Celestia taking so much damage, probably is more specially trained. Perhaps Actually uh, no, we saw Chai get a defense boost in the previous in the semi-finals set. Oh. So it's just Wavens are kinda having a huge amount of huge attack. Huge amount power. of attack, uh, which is typical not very typical of the post uh of the late game meta uh, game. Tell for me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean uh I stand to correct myself. I personal experience has I see more berry arcanines than the Unfortunately. Than, yeah. It's an uh, infestation of berry arcanines. Sure. As Paki Shield will come out, Chai just really scrambling for answers, hoping to let Arcana KO itself with Recoil. I mean, looking back at a few... But no, Waven doesn't take the bait. Goes wow. by extreme speed into the Arcana and end a foul play. Oh, but we're going to take Recoil, but nah, many bats doesn't care about that. Yeah, sure. And... Oh, and a Snarl. Yeah, I think Chai... Doesn't even get a kill Arcana and was probably hoping to catch uh, Coco coming in. Would the double target on the Arcana thing have more mileage? Because the extreme speed plus the foul play damage should be able to take out the Arcanine because CC has proper the berry. No, we saw what Foulplay did previously sure, to the Arcanine. It, was, sure. is it isn't quite th that amount we see now. I see, I see. So probably that play will, will be fine. Yeah. But Making yeah, at this point, Raven just needs to be careful yeah. not throw this position away. Because he has the game right now. Yes. Uh, oh, well, we Whether it matters or not, I, we wouldn't know. But uh, yeah, I don't think Chai's going to complete too much. The game is pretty much out of his hand. Yes. Even with the Rain Zingzap into Mandy Bus, which could KO. Oh. Okay, it doesn't. doesn't. But I will flinch the mini bus, but uh, yeah. yeah, it's just delaying the inevitable. Especially since Wayward's an offensive Arcanine, and it's more than likely to pack enough speed to match the Toge Demaro. Sure. I mean, probably in terms of the speed advantage wise, uh, it seems that Wayward's Arcanine was trained much faster. Yeah, Toge Demaro is faster than the Arcanine, though. Ah. So Arcanine is fast, but not that fast. Mini bus will go down, but that's just uh, stalling time for the Arcanine to finish the job on its own. Yes. Wow, what a. I, I felt that was a very convincing. Yes, very convincing. Chai, very I think Chai brought the wrong monster to the matchup. Yeah. He definitely expected something else, and. I think he clearly expected Weaven to, to not dare to bring the Tapu Koko. I think Chai pre was preparing for a Tapu Lele game. By leading, oh, by leading that lead. Yes. Yeah. And his entire setup, I think. Tokyo Demaru is just insurance in case Koko comes out, but he clearly wasn't expecting Koko to come out. At least not in the early game. Yeah. And, and the Ferium Z definitely taking definitely out of guard. One, yes. one of his key. And I don't think he was ready for Ferium Z at all. Sure, sure. Yeah. I mean, now probably Lele taking the Terry control. Electric Surge coming in on. And Lele going uh, for the psychic, psychic search for the psychic terrain. Easily con uh, 2v1 against Togedemaru against the world. Uh, I'm surprised Electric Terrain even right now in the first place. <laughs> I, I didn't realize he had actually been 5 turns. Well, 5 fast turns, 5 convinced. Uh, what a convincing beat by. Yeah, Shai's gonna forfeit the 1 HP Togedemaru against yes. anything. No, no, no. Not gonna work out there. And yeah. we'll move on with a 1 game advantage in the final. And one step away from taking his second mid season showdown. Sure. What would, if you were Chai, how would you adjust? I think the Tokyo Maru mm. and the Fini. 
to at least rest the rain control of Weyman's hands. And now that he knows that the Tapu Koko is Ferium, Thunderbolt is not as dangerous without the rain. Sure. So, no, probably if Weyman adjust, uh, adjusting to this fact, like, I mean, he, uh, assuming that he knows that Chai will adjust, uh, perhaps like, uh, Koko Katana lead would be good? Depends. Uh, the Weyman may not want to change what works. Though we even got a lot of mileage out of the fact that Chai brought Gachom and I don't think Chai is bringing Gachom again. Not sure. after that the, the, the buckle in game one, of course. And, and precisely because capitalizing on this fact, I feel that we even should adjust uh, in order to uh, have a have a matchup advantage right from the start. I mean, for the first game, uh, he he did indeed have have the matchup advantage while ca ca catching Chai off guard with that lead. He didn't expect that Coco like what you mentioned. Ethereum. Yep. Yeah, and the variums. So let's see. Uh, yeah, I fully expect Chai to adjust. And he, the onus was on him to adjust. And we see Weyman, yep, here we go. Into game two, we go. Uh, Chai needing to claw back to bring this to a game three. And he's got the tools. We know he has tools. We've seen him play all day. Yep. And all two days, in fact. But Weyman definitely has the momentum going into this game two. And Chai needs to arrest that somehow. He, sure. needs, to, he needs to slow the game down. Weyman is pushing the game at a very fast pace. And it's throwing yes. Chai off. Yes. Chai's not able to keep up right now. Yes, in fact, with the tailwind. Oh, uh, whoa, he did it. And it, oh, did it adjust? That was quite surprising. Chai really gonna call Weyman, Is Chai really gonna try and uh, call Weyman's bluff and keep Gashong in again, daring him to ferry him again? Mm. Well, I mean, but if let's say if he expects that the Togirimaru is at the back, he can easily switch out, assuming that he knows that Gashong may protect or you know may switch out or something. But now you think at least Chai is gonna flame the Koko at the very least. The Akhanai has to not help him. No, please, no. Oh, that's true. But because I mean especially since even with terrain, now that he knows that what item Koko is, sure. his Akhanai is in, under no threat. Thunderbolt will not kill his Akhanai. Because Weyman oh. has no boosting item. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even in terrain. Yeah. So that's that, at least. At least game 3. So at least he doesn't, throw the, he doesn't entirely whiff the first time like he did in game 1. Helping hand into a, into a dead Pokemon. Oh, no. Sure, sure. Not ideal at all. But oh, he's gonna he do did, it again! He did go again! And he said, go, oh, let's see if Weyman whooping again! And we're and going the again. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Again! Turn one all over again! Chai is just trying to call Weyman's bluff and Weyman just does not care! <laughs> Are you surprised, Matthew? I. <laughs> I am again lost for words. I, I, I'm not sure if that's Chai playing or if that's Jira playing because, <laughs> my goodness! <laughs> I, I would have fully expected Chai to adjust. <sighs> I didn't know Chai was. That, that was. Daring, I would, I would call it. My goodness. Very ballsy plays from his, from his side. And it's not going to pay off. Yes, it's not going to pay off. Of all the times to suddenly go all, all, all in, it's Chai Wat going all in the finals, and oh my goodness, has it backfired. Yeah. Third Poke. Uh, but at least Fini, overriding the terrain, potential Thunderbolt uh, may not be dealing that, that much. But this is a good time probably to bait the Togedemaru switch. Uh, to bait the, the, the Togedemaru, probably he may want to switch out his. Uh, Coco to improve his position. Yes, especially since we know his Fini is trying specs. Yeah. So he needs to protect it. But he's not, oh no, he's not. He's not even bringing his Togedemaru to safeguard against this. It does a sizable chunk even with, with, without the terrain and or now, even with the boosting item. I think Weaver can go to Katana if he brought it. Yep. Yeah. <gasps> oh, Haku Lele for that matter. Uh, Press control of the terrain. However, the so Akanai. Katana, yes. Katana. But, but however, two, the. Two foul plays will finish off the Akanai. Sure, Which sure. I think what Weyman is counting on here. Oh, oh. Okay, maybe not. Size of a chunk, about maybe three. three. Oh, but yeah, but he re Weyman recognized that Chai is not re re not really going for the Flablitz into Coco. Yep. But this was something that, wow, I, I mean the... Uh, but he was going to double connect at least. So Katana going to be brought down even. Take down this to take Katana it out. might come. Going to hang on with, uh, in the red. No aggressive drops this time. Uh, I would expect the Lele to switch in. Uh, then the yeah. depending on what uh, is at the back, let's say if it's uh, Togedemaru, he can easily hard read on Fini slot to sacred slot the. Uh, okay, yeah, here see? we go. Here comes yep. Fini Togedemaru into Celestia. Celestia right? So not as much value. We were not gonna be get it. Not gonna get much out of this turn, since the Celestia is gonna sponge up any attacks from the Mandibas sure. and Katana. Oh, and he reads the sacred slot, but oh. it goes into the Arcanine slot. Right, so predicted the switch from the Arcanine. I see. Or maybe thought Arcanine would. Oh, oh, he tried to double the Arcanine. Which oh, I think to, cover, to cover yeah. for any... Oh, oh I would see. Would have killed the Arcanine. But wouldn't he bring it to the berry range? I don't think Fowler brings the berry. I think Secret Sword will finish it off. If it... 
No, power play will bring it to like 30, and then I think Sarah just kills from there nice. without the barrier activating. But the extreme speed though, I mean, oh, he has helping hands now, he has no extreme speed. Ah, so he doesn't, he's in fact safe from extreme speed. Uh, yeah, he was a good move on uh, Waven's part not to switch into Celestia. Can I coming back in to I mean, the, the Lele, yes. Oh, oh, not, so, not so much to intimidate as, but as to, you know, scare the pants off of the Celestia. Sure, His sure. primary purpose here, intimidate not really of that much value, yep. but definitely the threat to Celestia now very evident as he comes back in. Yep. Probably try to go get off another muddy water. But the thing here for Weiwen is that I think he knows he has game as long as Koko is stays alive because Chai has no Togedimaru sure. and two electric weeks on the field. Yes. I mean potential wild charge, which is even thought to be a probably an obsolete move from Arcanine, could be also uh, from Weiwen's side. Uh you know, a wild charge can easily finish the Fini, even with minus one, I would say. Um if a, if you opts to do that, double targeting on the Fini slot could be also a potential option. Yes, one more turn of Tailwind, I think. So, we'll see. Manima's gonna retreat there, going into the Coco. Yes, but no, I wouldn't risk the Coco on a Sishin, I have to say. Coco is his win condition at this point. Or is his easiest, his easiest win condition at this point. A Coco endgame. Yep. However, he's... Oh, but, he's but he's still risking a Muddy Water here. I'm quite sure that Wild Charge is going on to the Fini. Does it uh, KO? If he, if, uh, depends. With the Terrain boost. Uh, 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 I, uh, let, I, let's see. Let's I, see. I, I, I'm not willing to write off Fini's defenses quite, sure, that, sure. Easy, quite that quickly. Yes, yeah, here's the Wild Charge in Terrain. Oh, bro, Phoenix, then the orange, yeah, that, that's down. That's, yeah, that's down, that's yeah. Down. I didn't realize Phoenix was that low. Yes. Oh, that's game. That's Chai, Chai. I think Chai that's is done there. <laughs> Chai, is, he extends his handshake to, to, to Weiwen. Wow, <laughs> I mean, what, what, what? I, what, what, what? Not yet, not yet. Uh, no, 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 it's over, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Chai's Arcanine not quite the same as uh, Weiwen's. I has the offensive Arcanine, which is a huge advantage in, in this position. Yeah, I, I thought that would, I mean, with the influx. Because now Coco covers Arcanine with Thunderbolt. Yes. And Arcanine just fear into the Celestia. If it protects, then Celestia will get killed oh, by Flabliss next turn. No, no Z move. Oh, uh, yeah, it's reduced. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Okay, last dish protect from Celestia. Oh, Weaver could just double into the Arcanine. Yeah. Which he's going to do. I think. Yes, he does. Gonna activate Barry. Probably popping yep. the Barry. Yeah, so it will, it will take any hit from the Arcanine, even a Wild Charge in terrain. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, Chai kind of delaying the inevitable here. Yep. Hoping to, yeah, Flabliss into the Celestia. And now. Okay, so now maybe, just maybe. But the Celestila oh, will Celestia be. Will go down to yeah, the flat yeah. beats will be too much for Celestila to, 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 to be able to. Anything, I think, I kind of needed to. I kind of really wish they had Budos there more than anything. Yeah. Since it, it needs to at least let Celestila move before. The helping hand, though. Two. I mean, yeah, the, the, that first turn really sealed, sealed the game for him. I mean, the bluff was like what you mentioned. He caught a bluff, he didn't get it. That's it, yeah. We even had one game to play with. We even had no reason to just not play straight. Sure. He couldn't get punished on that turn at all. Akana, yeah. He knew Akana couldn't KO his own Coco. That, that's true, that's true. Yeah, because knowing that he's a bulky variant, yeah, that's, that's, that's fair enough. Sending so in the Chai back. just... And uh, not to mention, what was Chai hoping to get out of it? Chai was probably helping hand rock slide. What, why? That, you're risking it all on a helping hand rock slide. I don't think that's worth it at all. That, yeah, that, that's... Uh, in fact, that lead wasn't good in the first place, right? So... <laughs> it's like, uh, clearly he was... Like, the only reason he was helping hand, he's not going to help him upgrade his own Arcanine, yeah. definitely. Yes. So he's hoping for the helping hand rock slide. Yeah. That doesn't kill Coco. Yes. Doesn't kill many bus. You just bang him off fringe to stop Tailwind. Yes. And you, even if you hit both, you don't get any big damage out of it. And you and all this while you're risking the Ferry, I'm like... That, that, the, 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 the risk reward ratio is horribly, horribly skewed. skewed towards Wayward's favorite. And that's not something Chai Yuhawa usually does. Yes. I, I just feel that the... He, he didn't manage to weigh his uh, pros and cons from, from, from that position. He had two games to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and he chose the same option twice. Twice. <laughs> so he's still going to try his best, but at this point, down to the red, he needs to hit maybe like five protects in a row. Five protects in a row, yeah. But even after that, the problem now is that once the rain runs out, Coco comes back in. Yeah, and Coco, fresh. Not only that, even if Celestia gets a beast boost, we know it's not special defense. Ah it's yes, physical. it's defensive, yes, yeah, yes, So yes. it's not going to survive a Thunderbolt in the rain. Definitely, and... Wow! We weren't taking it home for Singapore in well, such spectacular fashion. We'll see this play out though. So yeah, sure. Again, he hits five more protects, but and well, we weren't doesn't see. switch Koko in in the process. Oh, oh yeah, that, that's that's true, because... Uh, flat we weren't can't switch in Koko until the rain runs out, because he doesn't want to... He, does, he needs to reset the rain when it runs out. That's like, true, KO. that's true as well. And, oh who knows, if he really gets a... Double, and Celestia, if Celestia protects all the way through and KOs the Arcanine at least, it's going to be healthy enough to take one Thunderbolt. Just one. One. Yes. But you can probably prevent the Leech Seed and by taunting. Oh, but I don't know whether the... I don't think we even carry Taunt though. Yeah, let's see, let's see. 
Well, doesn't matter. He first things first. Double protect. First step. Double protect. Yep. And, and doesn't he get it. And he doesn't Here get it. Here comes the flare blitz. Flare blitz. Should be clean it up for. Even Rewen. if it's not enough, foul play will do the job. Yep. And flare blitz will be enough. Oh, it's not going to be enough. But then oh. again, foul play will be enough. Yep. Please tell me you press foul play, Raven. <laughs> now it's not. He's, he's like, now it's not the time to press any other one. Like, yeah, yes. for the foul play. <laughs> Raven <laughs> takes the mid-season <laughs> showdown oh. here in Singapore. Two mid-season showdown wins for Raven. Number one in Apex. Back. Uh, Melvin, where are you? <laughs> well, well, I mean, congratulations to to Weyland. Well played to Weyland. Well played. Very just well played. playing it straight, calling, uh, not not letting Chaiwa call his bluff, just taking uh, getting rid of the Kashan immediately and playing the rest as straight as possible, then forcing Chaiwa on the back foot. And yes. Chaiwa was always unable to recover. Yes. In fact, during the first game, he wasn't able. He, in fact, during the first game, after he did the Ferrum Z, uh, tag on as uh, uh, on the Gachom, he was already three Pokemon down. I'm still so I confused. Mean, it's clearly Helping Hand Rock Slide. You were gonna risk it all for Helping Hand Rock Slide? Really? <laughs> Maybe he was banging on the like the a switch out and a switch flinch, out, etc. Yeah, but, but you're still banking it on a Helping Hand Rock Slide. My goodness. Yes. Uh, I think we're gonna get Chai down here to talk about that play. But sure. until then, uh, again, once again, Weiwen is the champion of the mid season showdown, taking it over Chai Wat Chawicha from uh, Thailand. Uh, Thailand. But Again, it's not no huge loss for Chai, it's only a difference of a few championship points. Sure. Thanks to the way Missing showed up payout is. Yes. But again, missing out on the win there, after such a dominant day, Chai didn't drop a set, let's not forget. Chai was 8-0 coming into the final here, but unfortunately we weren't just totally outplayed the socks out of him. Sure. I mean with the uh, one may say that the Ferrum Z uh, tag is uh, That's game one, surely. Yeah, yeah. you call sure, him off guard. Call him off guard game one. But then game two again. <laughs> Probably he didn't. I mean, that. step one, he didn't think we want to lead the same thing again. Sure, that's the, that's the re that's main one. reason yep. why. Yeah. That's one, and then two, he's like, you lead the same thing again, you won't do the same thing again. There's no way you do the same thing again. Weyman's like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do the same thing again. And uh, you could see the, the, the expression from Chai's face is like... And Weyman couldn't believe it. He's like, you did it again! He was like, oh! He <laughs> was like, whooping in joy when, when, he, when he finally got that Pharisee. Eliminating in such fashion again. Oh yeah, yeah. So, well, so once again, uh, we're gonna get the uh, our, our uh, finalists on uh, Chaiwa to talk about it. Sure, so sure. Stay tuned. And here we, <laughs> and here we have uh, the f <laughs> the finalist for the Singapore second mid-season showdown of the winter season. Chaiyawat, congratulations again. Uh, Thank not you. so well for the for the game, but the finalist finish. Uh, it still championship points to your pocket. Yeah. Some prizes and well, well played set. But why not you just tell us about game two though? Why the same lead? Uh, and why the same thing? And it's fifty fifty. I think why when yeah. He yeah. don't pay in the same same <laughs> game one. <laughs> well, yeah. If if he if, if happen, I know I lost currently. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, uh, yeah. In fact, we has the. Uh, in fact, I and Matthew has, has have expected that you <laughs> adjust to the potential Mendy Bass uh, Coco lead. Uh, yeah. uh, the. <sighs> I, I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, but I, you you could have played it out in a different way. Uh, using Togedimaru to manage the Coco much better. Um. Uh, yeah. What else? I mean, if you were to play this second game again, how would you adjust? Uh, this this second game, I think uh I play very bad in <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and if I I lose to Kajom, it's very hard to come back in this game. Sure. Yeah, yes. because I think uh in the back we will have I can I and my team have only Finny and he play very good to switch 
the which electric terrain and wild charge to yeah. my Fini. Yes. Uh, probably wild charge is not something that you have expected yeah. in yeah. Arcanize nowadays because yeah. uh, typically they want to run very bulky support uh, yeah. type of Arcanize. Uh, I could attest to that because I've been using it for a long season as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, certainly some of his calls in the late meta like the, the Furium Z, yeah. wild charge Arcanine, and offensive, very yeah. fast, very hits very hard. Yeah. It's very hard for you to probably it's harder, but uh, I'm sure you have some takeaways from yeah. here after this uh, yeah. finalist. What game I I don't know he he used Valium say in his coho. <laughs> <laughs> I see, yeah. Probably some information that probably you next time you have to take it home uh, yeah. in the future, yeah. And it's and second game I play very bad. <laughs> <laughs> I play the mid game one. Sure, sure. Yeah. Any shout outs to anybody? Yeah. Uh, can I speak Thai? Sure. ขอบคุณนะครับที่อ่าให้กําลังใจผมมาแล้วก็ขอโทษด้วยนะครับที่แพ้รอบชิงแต่ว่าเต็มที่แล้วครับ uh, Okay, thank you. Thank you once again. Here we have the finalists of the second mid season showdown. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And here we have the <laughs> champion of the second mid-season showdown in Singapore at Boogie's Toy and Games, Ang Wei Wen. Second win for the season. Maxing out your best BFL. For Congratulations once again. Thank you. Yeah. Tell us about what made you lead that way, what made you make those plays, and why do you repeat the same play over uh, again in the second? Okay, for game one, basically, I wanted to... Um, I kind of expected he would beat Gachom because... Me, to him, I realized Mandibus is quite a threat, so he probably would have gone for the rock slide and try maybe fish, fish for some flinches. Sure, sure. So what I wanted to do was uh, I didn't review Ferium on my Tapu Goku all at all this whole event. Uh, I used it against Matthias in top eight, but I wasn't streamed thankfully. He not don't know how that would have went. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this was the second time I used it, and uh, uh, I actually didn't use Tapu Goku at all during Swiss. Yeah, because. Basically, after my Malaysia mid-season showdown, I realized Porygon wasn't doing too much for me. So, um, I got a suggestion from my friend here, Martin. <laughs> uh, he suggested, was like, you have very weak Celestila and Gachom, so you should use this Tapu Koko. And that spread, by the way, is uh, uh, very by Martin and his friend uh, Joel. Shout out to Joel as well. And then I think Kevin helped out as well, maybe? Yes. Uh, I mean, we three actually uh, discussed a bit about the Gachop, uh, about the Coco benchmarks and things. Uh, but the main thing, that we only had one objective in mind. To was kill to all the Gachops. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, game two, the reason I made that same play again was because I wanted my tailwind up at all time. Yeah, so um, then I was like, oh, I got it off. <laughs> then I came in. If Togenomaru was at the back, I might have been, but I came in Fini, then uh, Celestia, and I was like, oh, okay, should be. Uh, Although, if you potentially lose the Gachom in the. I mean, if you potentially lose the Coco in the process, maybe by the Rock Slide and the Flare Blitz, um, you still have gotten a Tailwind up nonetheless. Uh, but the it's just about how you're going to capitalize your Tailwind. The Rock Slide wouldn't have gone off onto the Coco, because if Gachom had chose to protect or switch out, it would have gone into something else. Uh, oh yes, that's right, that's right. And then yeah. Flabbits probably wouldn't have taken out Coco. I'm pretty sure it can survive. Yes, you, uh, yeah. uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that's for you, the yeah. opponent, to find out. Yeah, yeah so for our opponent. Thankfully, yeah. he didn't do it. Uh, yeah, I uh, actually made a kind of a sort of a misplay in game 2 by bringing Katana instead of Tabu Lele. Because once Tailwind up, the basically Lele is to get offense out as much as possible, Psychic. Uh, but I actually thought of brought Katana instead because of the... The, 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 ah, Togedamaru, but it didn't come out. And Fini came out in the end, so... Well, it was still... I, I, I felt that it was the right decision on both uh, me and Matthew's point of view. B 
because of the Tafini and the Togedimaru check, because of the Secret Sword and the Leaf Blade threat, yeah. uh, it definitely would have played a big part. So, in my opinion, uh, at least from my humble opinion, I think that it was a uh, right move uh, mm. on, uh, in, your, in your choices. But, well, once again, uh, it's yeah. a very uh, good showing this weekend that you took home the title again. Once yes. again, congratulations. Any Thank shout you. outs? Um, of course, Martin. Helping me so much throughout my season. Your, your team has evolved quite a bit, yes, I, I would say. Yeah. Uh, 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 Water Spiders group. Uh, Jordan Wilson, of course, both of y'all. And uh, I don't know what's the group name. I think it's in Chinese now, the one with everybody inside. Uh, yeah, and everybody who has helped me along this journey so far to achieve number one for sure. now. Sure. Uh, I mean, I'm, I hope that you can snowball this momentum uh, Fire regardless. Fireball. Fireball. Oh, fireball, whatever it is. Uh, so as long as you maintain your momentum, I'm sure you will do. You will find more similar success in the 2018 season coming ahead. Thank you. Th once again, thanks. Okay. And well, we present to you the champion of the mid-season showdown, Ang Weiwen. Fat. 